lands uh, in a few months' time. The question is that part one stand part. More impure. Yes, Mr Chair. Thank you so much. Um, and I too stand tonight in support of this, um, the films, videos and publications classification, uh, interim restriction orders classification amendment bill in its committee stage tonight. And we are speaking about um, the meat of this um, bill, Mr. Mr Chair, which is in clause four and where it inserts a new clause 49A. And that provides the solution for the, flex the inflexibility that there is with the current law. And it does give a simple amendment, simple but effective, and it allows for the uh, interim uh, restriction of, uh, or for the Film and Literature Board of Review to um, apply these uh, restrictions uh, while um, a publication is under appeal. And we, f we found that with the book Into the River by Ted Dorr, um, this was a completely inflexible system that we were operating under. And so this new section 49A uh, gives some very practical tools to applying these classifications, sir. Um, for instance, um, M in this classification would be restricted to mature audiences or a specific age group. And in granting uh, these applications, sir, um, there is an opportunity to apply these restrictions uh, across a variety of age groups or types, um, and also to decline the application if uh, that is deemed appropriate as well. The other part of this um, part two, um, Mr Chair, it relates to interim restriction orders where the High Court or the judge uh, must apply um, the same consideration to uh, these uh, restrictions on publications. And uh, the High Court or the judge also has the ability to apply uh, the various restrictions to age groups or types, as in mature or an age bracket, or to decline the application. Um, and w w as we've heard tonight, um, also uh, the, uh, the restriction orders also have the ability to impose sanctions uh, for contravening uh, this, uh, these um, restriction orders, sir, and uh, apply uh, quite considerable fines to people that do intend to um, breach these rules, uh, up to $3,000 for an individual and up to $10,000 for a corporate body. And so, sir, um, it is uh, very clear that this was a gap in the, uh, in the law. It has been ably filled by uh, this small amendment to the films, videos, classifications, interim restriction orders, classification amendment bill. And um, I commend it to the House. The question is that part one stand part. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. To the contrary, no, the ayes have it. The question now is that part two, clauses seven to ten, stand part. Oh, Mr Chair. Chris Bishop. Thank you very much, uh, Mr Chair. Uh, look, we've dealt